Sisters and Champions, The True Story of Venus and Serena Williams, by Howard Bryant, illustrated by Floyd Cooper. No one ever laughed at Richard Williams, at least not to his face, when he told people about Venus and Serena and the special things his two daughters would do, they would wait for him to leave, and then they would laugh, because he had said the impossible. The Williams family lived in Compton, a real tough, sometimes scary part of Los Angeles. When Venus and Serena were four and three, Richard bought them tennis rackets, believing tennis treated girls more fairly than other sports, and, if his hunch was correct, that his girls would have an athletic advantage that would change the sport forever. Richard didn't know anything about tennis, but it didn't stop him from saying the wildest things. He told everyone his little girls, not one, but both of them, would be champions. And the laughter would start. They laughed because Venus and Serena were black, and black people, they said, weren't supposed to play tennis. They laughed because Venus and Serena weren't rich, and people without money, they said, weren't supposed to dream so big. They laughed because Venus and Serena came from Compton, and no tennis champions ever came from such a tough neighborhood. They laughed because it was hard enough for one person in a family to become world famous, but two? But the sisters' mom and dad said differently. They said the sisters were made of special brown skin and wonderful eyes, of big smiles and bigger hearts, and, when it came to tennis, a kind of magic. Just wait, their dad would say. You'll see. The girls were so different from each other. Venus was quiet, competitive, protective, just like a big sister. Serena was forceful, stubborn, and even more competitive, just like a little sister. Yet these sisters were also best friends. When Venus was 12 and Serena 10, the family moved to Florida so the sisters could focus even more on tennis, and soon a whole new group of people was talking talking about them. Have you heard about them? Tennis fans would gossip. I think the big sister's name might be Venus. Everyone is saying she's the next American superstar. And get this, someone told me her little sister might be even better. Yet not all the talk was friendly. The sisters were different. Their skin was different. Their hair was different. Venus was tall, really tall. And the way the sisters hit the ball, so hard, like the boys, even harder than the boys, was different. In ways big and small, people reminded them of being different every day. Their father wouldn't let his girls play junior tournaments, even though everyone played juniors. He made them focus on school instead. People said Dad was hurting his girls. Dad said he had a plan, that they were a family, and families always stick together. Stick together they did. Venus and Serena grew even closer as they outworked the other girls. Every day they would hit 200 balls, then 300, then 500, then 1,000. Each day the sisters would sweat and sweat. Dad painted a sign for them that read, If you fail to prepare properly, you prepare to fail. No one laughed at the girl's father anymore because his dream was becoming real. Venus was only 14 years old when she turned professional. In her very first tournament, she almost beat one of the top-ranked players in the world. It would take Venus four years to win her first professional tournament, still a teenager and already a champion. Yet it wasn't just Venus who won. Serena became a champion at the very same tournament. How? Venus and Serena played as teammates in doubles tennis. Serena was only 16 years old when the sisters won as partners. Both sisters wanted to be considered the best in the world, though. And for that to happen, only one of them could win in the end. One would have to lose. There was no avoiding it. The 1998 Australian Open was the first time they played against each other as professionals. Big sister Venus won. In Rome and Miami the next year, Venus won again and again. 
Not until Serena turned 18 did she beat Venus for the first time. The girls became young women. Their parents always said they were special, made of magic and big hearts. Soon, the sisters dominated the biggest tennis championships in the world, the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the U.S. Open. Venus won Wimbledon five times and the U.S. Open twice. Serena would win all four tournaments in a row and nickname it the Serena Slam. The sisters were so good they seemed to lose only to each other. In February 2002, Venus was ranked number one in the world. Six months later, it was Serena's turn to be number one. It is the only time in history two sisters or brothers were ranked first and second in the world. Another of their father's dreams had come true. Still, it hurt so much to play against each other. Neither sister wanted to see the other lose. When they competed for a championship, mom and dad could barely watch. So Venus and Serena continued to play as a doubles team. And if playing one of the sisters was tough, together they were unbeatable. They won all of the major doubles championships at least twice. They played together for America in the Olympics four times, winning three gold medals. As partners, they were the best in the world. Then Venus began feeling weak. Doctors told her she had a disease, one she would have for the rest of her life. It could appear at any time and steal her energy. People began talking again. Is Venus' career over? Then Serena suffered a foot injury and had problems with her lungs. Doctors said she too might not be able to play tennis anymore. She wound up missing a full year and lost her number one ranking. People were talking once more. The Williams sisters will never again be champions, they said. But as their parents knew, these sisters had magic in them. And the true magic of Venus and Serena Williams is that they never quit. They never stopped working. And they both returned to play tennis. The year Serena returned to tennis, she won the singles tournament at Wimbledon. And the sisters, together again, won the doubles championship. Serena continued to win and win and win. Almost too many trophies to count more than any women's tennis player in history. And people were talking again. Now they said Serena was one of the greatest athletes, boy or girl, in history. Maybe the best ever. The Williams sisters have a new magic now. Other little girls with special brown skin, wonderful eyes, and big smiles want to play tennis. Venus and Serena are still best friends, they will always be family, sisters who grew into champions. My first job, Venus says, is big sister, and I take that very seriously. Tennis is just a game, Serena says. Family is forever. The End